Four Oklahoma companies consistently appear on Fortune Magazine's list of the top 100 best places to work. Over the next few weeks, we'll examine what makes these companies such a great place to be employed. Financial perks are one factor, but one company believes it makes the list because it offers employees something money can't buy. Devon Energy's new 1.8 million square foot, 50 story headquarters soars above all the other skyscrapers in downtown Oklahoma City. The $750 million tower will house about 2,000 Devon employees and contractors when it's complete in October, but already about half those workers have moved into their elegant new, eco-friendly and high-tech workspaces. David Klassen is Devon's Director of Corporate Communications. It's a beautiful facility that will allow our employees to work more efficiently, it'll increase our camaraderie, and uh, it's, it's just a great benefit to have our employees all together. Outside the landscaping and fountains are nearly done. And as each floor is finished, more employees move in. But not everyone who works for Devon will occupy space in the new tower. We're an independent oil and gas company. We have over 5,000 employees across North America. This company was started 40 years ago. Larry Nichols and his father John started the company and it grew from a small family-owned company into now a large public corporation. One that's made Fortune Magazine's 100 best companies to work for for the last five years in a row. Klassen credits one word for why Devon consistently makes the list. You've seen it in the, the floor plate in the center of the rotunda of our building, it, it, the word integrity. That's what we are from beginning to end and when employees come to work here they know that's what Devon stands for. The perks are nice, compensation is good, benefits are good, great facilities are nice, but really those are, those are nice things to have that, that may help you get people in the door. They may help attract good employees. But what keeps employees here is the culture. You have to have a strong culture. If you don't have that, the perks and everything else really don't mean anything. Chris Goforth is settling into her new office on the 39th floor. It has spectacular views of the state capitol complex and Bricktown Ballpark. Goforth is the business unit vice president for Devon's Anadarko Basin operations. We're in charge of finding oil and gas, drilling wells, um, what's down there, how do we produce it, how do we make the very best wells that we can. A state-of-the-art auditorium in the new building helps engineers and geologists visualize production at oil and gas wells in both two and three dimensions. This is a computer program with three different views and what you're, the lines that you see that come down in bundles are actual well bores. Those are drilled from common surface locations and those are individual wells and where they went in the formation. You can see that they spread out. The one in the middle shows that there's different layers within the formation and you can see where each of the individual wells are landed. What you're seeing now in the middle, those are actual frack jobs. So you're seeing where the fluid is going, what seismic events that they are sensing, and um, they're just seeing how do those wells perform. Then you can look at the results from the wells and help to drive your, your future drilling. So it's extremely innovative um, and th they do just excellent work, very high tech. Goforth says facilities like this, as well as perks including excellent compensation, 401k plans, full health benefits, and having every other Friday off with family, show her the company values its employees. But it's an intangible perk that she says employees value most. And they don't feel like they're putting their jobs on the line every time they look at something a little differently. They can bring it forward and say, here's something I think we ought to try. I think everyone feels very empowered, and that is a very strong message to think that you can make that difference and, and you individually can drive some changes. They like working in a place where they're giving the freedom to be creative, the freedom to express themselves, the freedom to take risks and try new things, and that's what they tell us keeps them here at Devon. Employees also like Devon's concern about their health. At the new headquarters, they get discounts for choosing to eat healthy meals in the ground floor restaurant. And they also get help meeting other wellness goals. We met Frank Rudolph, Devon's Executive Vice President for Human Resources, in one of the first spaces finished at the new tower, the company's wellness center. When we designed the um, wellness center, we originally designed it for about 600 people and maybe a couple hundred, 600 employees and maybe 
200 family members coming here. We now have over 1,200 employees that actively participate and um, 300 family members. Even before the center opened, Devin began offering employees screenings to set them on the road to wellness. We start a process where we um, go out in the field across the company, including our Canadian division, and do biometric screening. And from people's results, they're able to look at how those um, screens came out for them individually and, and, and take opportunity to make some lifestyle changes for them and their family. It's been a huge successful program. The changes are paying off for the employees and the company. The great part about it has been, uh, again, not only the way our employees have, have appreciated this type of offering, not only through participation, but our health care costs with adding 280 people um, from 2010 to 2011 has dropped significantly. And we're self-insured, so we know the dollars that go out the door and um, it has dropped significantly. So offering health and wellness options not only keeps employees happy, healthy, and on the job, but it also lowers the cost of offering workers an incentive to stay with the company.